Hi, my name's Kev, um, and Will asked me to do a painting at this Easter time around the story of Judas. I found this quite difficult to do because I'm used to doing landscapes for one and two, um, doing paintings which encourage people. And yet this painting, this story of Judas Iscariot, it's not a good ending. But the more I read about Judas, the more I felt challenged by his story, how far I am away from not betraying Jesus, but certainly sinning. And, um, and yet I find Judas, a man who was a friend of Jesus, on the painting I put a friendship bracelet on his wrist, artistic license, I, I know. But it kind of represented that Jesus was chosen, sorry, Judas was chosen by Jesus, as were all the twelve. And he would have experienced and witnessed and felt this kingdom power that Jesus was talking about. This kingdom come. He was sent out with the twelve in twos and, and would have experienced um, the healing power that he had in the name of Jesus. And yet here we find him now, betraying Jesus with a kiss, going to the enemy and selling Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. What happened next, though, I think, is more important to me, of how he went from betraying Jesus to almost being so sorrowful, so desperate, so alone, that he took his own life. And it got me thinking about how, how did he get to that place? And then I got thinking about Peter. I got thinking about how Peter... He also denied Jesus and he was so sorrowful that he, he wept bitterly, it said. But he interestingly went to find his friends and, and they all felt the same way. They all had let Jesus down. They'd all sinned. That's the bottom line. They'd all sinned. Judas, however, went it alone. He went back to the enemy with the 30 pieces of silver and like the painting I've done this was now blood money he threw it on the floor before them he was trying to fix this and yet he found that the enemy rejected him when he went to Jesus to betray him he betrayed him with a, with a kiss an embrace and yet I wonder if that was the turning point for Judas that Jesus didn't reject him even then. He accepted the embrace. I wonder if that surprised Judas, that he was expecting an argument, a fight. They brought all these men to capture Jesus, and yet Jesus just allowed him to embrace him. Judas then went away, like I say, threw the coins on the floor, and he found himself alone, distraught, this world isn't for me. I'm unforgivable. You'd imagine all these thoughts going through his head. And I wonder how far away I am when I sin, of trying it alone, trying to fix things myself, and yet finding myself that I actually, all I needed to do was to go to the feet of the cross, to go to Jesus and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Judas knew that. Judas experienced, he, he would have seen Jesus not only heal people, but to say your sins are forgiven. And yet he chose to go, go it alone. I want us to pray now. And the, and the prayer comes to my mind of the Lord's Prayer. When the answers are there. Shall we pray that? And we're going to come to the bit where it says, Forgive me my sins, as I forgive those who sin against me. And we're going to pause there to allow you to just think of, not the betrayal of Jesus, but maybe you've just got it wrong. Maybe you've had major wobbles and, and you just don't know the way back. Let's pray. Our Father, my Father, who art in heaven, how holy is your name. Lord, we pray that your kingdom will come on this earth, on this earth where we stand where we play, where we work. Your kingdom power will come in our lives as it is in heaven. 
in heaven there's your peace, your love, your joy, your wholeness, your prosperity, your forgiveness. And you said, Lord, that kingdom is available to us on this earth. Let your will be done in our lives, Lord. Thank you for our daily bread, Lord, the food in which we eat, the food in which you provide for our spirit, your holy word, the words of your mouth. Thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, we pray that you will forgive us our sins. Let's pause and just think about the times when we've, we've sinned. But knowing that we can come to, to Jesus, who is the forgiver of, in, of, of, of all sins. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And Lord, I pray you lead us not into temptation. I pray our eyes will be fixed upon you, Lord. And you'll deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and forever. Amen.